All right, hi guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale, and we are back with part three of the 10 plus pounds of the um, mystery lot from shopgoodwill.com that I won the auction. And the other two videos are in my on my channel, so you can click and check those out as well. So we're just gonna jump right in. And as we're doing this, I'll just say that um, if anyone's interested in anything, please email me. I'll have that in the description box and we can work out a price and I will pay the shipping. So these are pretty, um, I don't know what they're made out of, but they're really, really pretty earrings. Uh, I also have an eBay store. I also sell on Poshmark, Mercari, and a little bit on Etsy. Uh, my eBay and Poshmark will be linked in the description box. I also make mystery lots myself and craft jewelry lots. Bead lots, I should say. These are really cool. These are different. These earrings with the key and the lock and a heart. And I... Yep, here's the match, so that's really cool. I will sell these. Still working on my setup, guys. Still waiting for my camera little tripod to come in the mail. I see two matches right here ready. Those are really nice, and they have the backs. No maker's mark. Very cool. I don't usually like these illusion necklaces, but this bead is awesome. Look how pretty that is. It's like close an A, but it's like, more. what's that other word, moriage? I forget, but it's like pops out instead of, it's in, instead of inlay. So that's really pretty. Here's another illusion necklace. Here's two matches I see already. Wow, these are cool. These look um, these look like they would be onyx. I'm not really sure if they are real onyx. They are cool to the touch, so that probably means it is a real stone. And it does say 925 right there. So they might be onyx. I'll clean them up a little bit and put them up for sale in my eBay store. Here's another match. These are different, and remember, different and unique cells. So just because you may not like it, there might be somebody out there that does. So these these almost feel like, like a jelly, like a gel, because they're kind of squishy, but very pretty. I'll sell these as well. This looks like a memory bracelet or even for like a child but that's cute so this is going to be my last video from this lot and it's probably going to be a lot of earrings because that's usually what tends to fall to the bottom these are cool these are these almost have like a steampunk look to them like gears and stuff um, I thought that was a maker's mark. I think it's just a scratch, but those are cool. Here's something in a little baggie. Okay. So this looks like a bracelet, but it's really tiny. So I would assume a child but it's cute. It's um, little froggies. And here's another match. These are cool. These are really different. They're just plastic beads, but they have that like AB look to it, that iridescence. And this is just a lonely guy, so we'll see if a match comes along for him. I 
This looks like a Hello Kitty new in the bag. The bag is a little rough, but that's, that's cute. I can sell that, brand new. All right, these look like some pearls on a wire. I'm not sure if they're real. They are a little gritty. No, they're not. I can see the peeling in the drill holes. That'll go to a craft a lot. Hopefully somebody can repurpose those. We have a little, looks like a cat and a dog in a stocking pin for Christmas. Wow, look at these. Oh, what does that say? Austrian crystal? Huh. All right, those are cool. Um, they do need to be cleaned up, so I'll try to give those a nice bath. And I bet you they'll shine right up. Earring with no match yet. All right, looks like there's a bunch of little baggies in here. Wow. Okay, these look like, well, they're pineapples, but I'm not really sure what they're for. What does the bag say? Okay, it says strawberries, so that is definitely not the right thing. So I'm not sure, does anyone know what this is? Maybe to make pins, like make a bro a bro a brooch. brooch? <laughs> I can talk. I don't know. That's kind of weird. So let me know in the comments if you guys know what this is because I have a ton of them. Another little baggie. Do what you love and love what you do. And it does say 925 at the bottom. So that's really cool. I love it. It's a little dirty. <clears throat> but that's really cool. Very simple. All right, now we're getting into the handfuls of beads and earrings and hairs and everything else. So let's see. This, I know I've seen this guy before, and here it is. So that is so cool. They're in okay shape. I think if I give them a nice bath, they'll be cool to sell. And people like dream catchers. There's another piece of that broken bracelet. Here's a heart pendant. Hmm. It's probably glass. And it has like a um, gold metallic paint in it. That is really pretty. I'll have to go through my little bag of chains to put that on. This is just a clip-on. I don't see the mate yet. Here's another earring. Huh. What is this? I like this part. It's like a, got like a mermaid look to it. Maybe like a button of some sort? I don't know, guys. You tell me. These are pretty. Or I should say, this is pretty. I hope to find the match. Here's a screw back earring. Wow. Can you guys see that? How pretty is that? I really hope the match is in here. Here's some rings. Um, they look just fashion. The metal or the coating is like peeling off of them. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's just check them all with the magnet. Oh, look at that, and none of them are magnetic. All right. So they might be made out of like an aluminum or something that's not magnetic. But I don't see any marks, so I doubt they're real silver. Okay, let's see what else we got. All right, a lot of random beads. Oh my gosh. Try to get them all before they end up on my floor. All right, let's look what's in the, oh, another runaway bead. All right, let's look what's in the baggie first. These are nice. Leaf dangle earrings. All right. Oh, more runaway beads. I guess that shows you my table is a little uneven, huh? Let's get rid of these now. So these are gonna go in my craft lots. Hopefully someone can repurpose them. Here's another ring. This one's actually really pretty. Um, and it's not in that bad of shape, but it's really tiny. I mean, that's gotta be like a five or something. Here's another one. That one's really pretty too. Or it could be those, um, that's kind of big or a midi ring. This one I actually found earlier and I was hoping for the mate and here it is. Now I gotta figure out where I put the other one. Ha! I'll just keep it to the side. Put that little guy to the side. Here's this ring. These all must have came from the same person because they're all very tiny. But that's very pretty. I can sell that. It's in good shape. I feel like I saw the other one to this too, but this one looks like it's broken. And that's a shame because this is cool. With the little crystal on the bottom. I love this. Pendant. What does that say? Five cents Singapore. So that is awesome. I'll definitely put that to the side to look for a chain. Here's a crystal. It probably fell out of something. That's awesome. Here's another random earring, some more random earrings. This cool earring. Let's hope for mates for all these. Oh, and there goes beads. These beads are actually really pretty. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay, here's another one of those rings. This one looks like the really bad shape. It's like peeling and everything. Here is the match to that clip-on. So I'm not really, oh, there is a maker's mark. It says, I don't know if this says F-O or F-Q. It looks more like F-O. But of course you can't see it. Um, I do like them, but, oh, what does that say? Irvin Plar, Plural? No idea. I do like them, but this is really gross. So I'm not really sure what to do. Any recommendations? Let me know. 
don't really know what that is. This is like a chip, stone chip. Here's an earring, more earrings. Okay, this one I just saw. This one's right here. Those are cool. More earrings that need mates. So we'll shoop to you guys to the side. Ew. <laughs> Gotta love the hair. Oh look, I have a penny. All right, so let's get rid of this disgusting hair. And these beads, actually, hold on. Put that hair in the garbage. And let's take the beads and put them in that lot. Okay, here's the earring. This is a cool ring, a little peace sign. It's very small as well, but it does say 925 in there. Again, that's probably like a five. You know what? Let's look at what it is. Yeah. It's about a five. This is really pretty. It's cold to the touch, so it's a real stone. Hoping for the match, because that one's very pretty. I'll definitely sell that. Oh, awesome. So I know you're not gonna be able to see this, ha ha ha. But that is the Swarovski Swan. Oh look, I zoomed in and you can see it. You can also see my nasty fingers, ha. So these are Swarovski, or I should say this one. I hope the match is here, cause those are really pretty. Let's put my lucky penny to the side. There's so many beads. Beads for everyone. God only knows what I'm going to do when I get my nails back on and I'm not going to be able to pick up any of this. And you guys are going to laugh at me. So this is a very interesting earring. Um, I don't see any marks and I'm going to hope for the match so I can sell them. Here's another one of those rings. Well, somebody must have donated a, all of their ring collection. This one's pretty. It's like a blue topaz of some sort. It doesn't look like it's sterling silver, but no marks or anything. But that's okay, I'll still sell. Hopefully I can find the match. There's a cute little pretzel earring. All right, let's push you guys to the side and finish the bag. These are super pretty. There's a little, a little scratch on the fake pearl, haha. <laughs> That does look like a mark. I think that's Avon, the circle with the dot in it. Oh God, this sucks. So I believe these are Avon. So if I can clean up, clean them up a little bit, those would be cool to sell. I think there's just a few more things rolling around in here. Ugh, the bottom of the bag is always kind of gross. I think that's it. So let me go catch these be runaway beads and put them in the lot for the crafter. Oh man, so this was this earring. 
So maybe these are cool. So maybe I can use this earring since there was no mate to this and take the finding off of it, the hook. I think I'm gonna do that because these green earrings are pretty cool. Okay, so now everything that's left I have over here and or stuff that I never untangled. <laughs> Let me get back into this. That's just a little bangle. Yeah. I am going to be right back so I can detangle this really quick. Okay, that literally took me like 15 minutes to untangle and everything was tangled around this. And I was honestly going to get up and get a scissor and just cut it. But I wanted to look at the um, pendant first because it looked like glass. And then I'm like, well, what is this? It looks like it opens. Like there's like a cork. Well, check this out. It does open. It doesn't smell like anything, thank God. <laughs> but how friggin' cool is that? I mean, I don't really know what it's for. It can't be alcohol. I mean, I guess it could be for drugs. <laughs> Did I say that? I mean, poison, um, you know. It's cool nonetheless. So I am glad that I did not cut this necklace because I will sell it. So there's a lot of random um, earrings. Here's that one that I said I thought I saw, but it doesn't have the hook. So I'm really not sure what to do with that. Um, I do really like them. So I'll have to see when I'm cleaning everything up if there's a hook or a finding that looks like this. Um, then I'll just attach it. I found these little guys, little dolphin earrings. Mm, this one had a match. Oh, it's right here. So those are cool. I found these, which are really, really cool. I think they're painted wood. Um, these I was pretty upset about that they're broken because I definitely would have sold those. Those are awesome. Um, now it's like matchmaker over here. This, oh, I get it. So this, this was supposed to go here, but it, the little ring broke off. Well, that sucks. Um, okay, so then there was a bunch of necklaces that were entangled with all that. So there's this one. It's, um, it goes like this. It's a very dainty little simple bar necklace. There was this one. Hold on, I have to put them all, clasp them all back together because I undid them to untangle that mess. This one I think is really, really, really cool. With the moon and the stone. Uh, the moon isn't in the best shape, but this part looks pretty nice. It's just a fashion piece, nothing crazy, but someone will definitely like that. That's definitely sellable. Then I found Oh, this little guy. He's just a plain round pendant. But the chain is in really good shape, except for the extender part is kind of doo-doo. But um, the rest of it looks nice, so that's a winner. Then I found this delicate little lady. 
Now, I'm not sure if this was supposed to, my nose is starting to itch, if this was supposed to have a charm, I mean a pendant, because she's Disney. God, why is everything so blurry? Um, and it says Disney on the back. So, it doesn't say if it's gold or anything, but I'll look through the lot as I'm cleaning to see if there was a pendant. Um, and then I found this little one that was wrapped around everything. The chain is in really bad shape. It's literally like two different colors. And it's just a little faux pearl. And then, what else? I'm gonna clasp this one back up because this is definitely my favorite. It is a Kate Spade necklace with a little um, rhinestone. And then her tag with the spade. So that's a winner. And then I found this earring. Oh God, I love it. But I don't know where the match is. So I really hope that when I'm cleaning up all this, I come across it. I love this one too, but I don't see a match. <laughs> um, I did find these guys, which I asked you guys what I should do about the um, little pad. I did find the match to this. Um, it is right here. Super excited about that because these are really, really cool. Some marcasite, and who knows what that stone is. Um, I don't see a mark but those are super pretty. Okay, let's see. I think I found this guy already. Um, I have yet to find my other Swarovski, but this one's nice. So, oh, and this one is really, really pretty too. Oh my gosh, I hope I find all these mates. <laughs> that looks like a real pearl. Okay, but that's really it. Um, I'm going to go through the rest of these singles and try to play matchmaker. And um, if anyone's interested in anything, shoot me an email. Email will be listed below. And we'll work on a price. Oh, and I found this guy. How cool is he? I mean, look at that. I need to find a chain for him because he is super cool. Look at his little butt. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Have a good night. Bye-bye.